Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm very grateful to be able to meet virtually in this fourth international conference on biophysical technology in dentistry, virtual conference. Today, I will present about the regenerative therapy and intracoronal splinting in grade 2 vocation involvement management case report. Introduction Vocation lesion has been defined as the pathologic resorption of bone in the anatomic area of a multi root where the roots diverge. Grade 2 involvement is characterized by the cool desecration, some amount of bone present in vocation. The bone is destroyed on one or more aspect of the vocation, but a portion of the alveolar bone and parental ligament remains intact. Diagnosis of FI is based on clinical examination with a neighbor's probe with the use of two-dimensional radiograph surfing and sun exam. One of the greatest challenges in periodontal therapy is the management of vocation involvement. Vocation involved molar respond less well to conventional periodontal therapy. Regenerative procedure is one of the treatment of vocation involvement grade 2. So, this case report aims to describe the combination of regenerative therapy and intracoronal splinting of grade 2 vocation involvement. Case report Forty-four years old female came to the Department of Periodontology with chief complaint, mobile of the teeth on the right mandibula posterior. No abnormality in the extraoral examination. By history taking, the patient didn't have a systemic disease. And the clinical examination show pocket depth buccal 6 mm, mesial 4 mm, and distal 4 mm. And the mobility of the tooth was 3 degree. Periapical radiograph of the mandibular second molar saw radiolucency in the bifurcation area. At the first visit, stage 1 therapy was performed. The patient was given dental health education, scaling and root planning, and splinting to stabilize the tooth mobility. Since the adjacent tooth is missing, intracoronal splinting should be considered. And then, we do an occlusal adjustment. In the figure, we can see the occlusal appearance after splinting intracoronal. In the second visit, or one week after splinting, the patient was recalled for surgical procedure. Extraoral and intraoral were performed with 2% povidone yielding solution. Then, infiltrate local anesthesia was performed. Circular incision are performed using the number 50 blade and after that, the flap is exposed using a respiratorium. Curetasa of granulation and debris domain using gray sea curet and then root planing. Irrigation with saline solution. The bone graft is placed on a bone defect and membrane is placed on top of it. Simple interrupted suture was done to fix set the flap and the flap was covered using parental dressing. Post-operative instructions were given an amoxicillin 500 mg, methanamic acid, vitamin C, and minoseprines were prescribed. The patient was recalled for control one week after surgery. There was erythema have been seen, but no suppuration and dehiscence. Follow up at one month saw better healing process. The clinical view present there was no erythema longer, and the radiographic view present bone filling of area defect that saw decreased radiolucency area comparing before treatment. Discussion. The decision for a specific treatment option of vocation involved tooth depends on general and local factor. Anatomy and degree of vocation involvement may be regarded 
as the most important factor. The bone graph used is a composite containing apatite carbonate and gelatin. Carbonate apatite is a bioceramic material that has been developed and studied to be the material of choice, especially for the use of bone structure substitutes. Splinting acts as an adjunctive therapy along with other parental treatment. The stabilization mobile teeth of the percussion involved using intracoronal splinting to avoiding disturbing as long as the healing period. In this case, an intracoronal splint was used to distribute the load evenly to the adjacent teeth thereby reducing trauma to the occlusion and helping stabilize the tooth during surgery and post-operative healing. This type of splint is less prone to plaque or foot retention than the splinting ligature wire, so it is easier for patients to maintain oral hygiene for a long time. In addition, the loss of adjacent teeth does not allow splinting of the ligature wire. At one month post-operative evaluation, there were change in clinical parameters such as increased bone filling in the percussion defect area, which was shown by decreased radiolucence area, also decreased tooth mobility and pocket depth. Hasanuddin et al. in 2019 found that there was significant amount of bone fill with improved clinical attachment level and healthy gingiva. Also, Rinalini et al. in 2016 found that combined treatment modality using alloplastic bone graft and GTR membrane are beneficial for the treatment of mandibular grade 2 vocation defect. Also, Kinaya et al. in 2016 found that resolvable membrane were better than non-resolvable membrane in vertical bone fill for the treatment of vocation involvement. Conclusion From this case report, it can be concluded that the management of rotation involvement grade 2 with regenerative therapy combined with intracoronal splinting gave satisfactory results in both the tooth mobility and bone filling in the defect area. That's all my presentation today. Thank you so much for the attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.